Hi, Ray Tennis. It's your man Kofi, like always. I'm right inside Koforidia. Um, it's a neighborhood called Galloway or Galloway or Galloway. So, Galloway is um, next to, um, how do you call it, um, Koforidia um, Jubilee Park, where you will find one of um, Koforidia's um, biggest beads and crafts shop right here inside Koforidia. So I'm taking you around to see some of these finest beautiful beads that you can find right here inside Koforidia which is usually um, organized on Thursdays every week. Of course it's your man Kofi. Before then don't forget to subscribe, share, like and then also hit that bell for more videos. Let's walk around see. Hi, Ray Tanish. Before I proceed right up in the beat market, of course, one of the biggest beat markets right here in Ghana, which is in Kofori Dia. I'm in one of the shops here where uh, this nice young, um, nice woman or nice lady right here, one of um, her shops here. So I just want her to tell us what she have in her shop before I go uh, to other places, other shops and show you what actually um, they have here. Um, Akoawa, <laughs> your life on the return is um, Sanko for channel. Tell us about your shop basically. Yeah. So my name is Agnes Ogwa and I work with Kobodan Beads Limited. This is our shop and we have a wide variety of beads here. We are into glass bead production. We also do jewelry assembly and our work mainly deals with single mothers. The whole project is to support single mothers and they do assembling of all this beautiful jewelry you are seeing here. Our main goal is to make life better for these women. So we are adding value to the Krobo beads. So anything that will make the Krobo beads marketing, that's what we are interested in. So as you can see, we have a wide variety of beads here. So we have beads for traditional occasions. So we, um, if it's a festival or your wedding, your traditional marriage ceremony, you want to look the different church program. Any program, we do custom made jewelry. We have a wide variety of jewelry. So, um, so these beads are for like different occasion or any occasion. It, it matches any yeah. occasion at all. Yeah. So these beads like this, you can take them to church. Okay. Church, if even it's, it's a funeral or a, any parties, mm. so I, I have this beautiful bead here. Uh, it can be used as a necklace, 
at the same time it can even be used as a belt just so like the one, you have the, the one on I have on my neck sure. so this is how it is so this so can one Kofi wear this as well can I wear this or this is uh, for the, women the, this one is uh, is for women for but women. we have other items that are unisex okay. for instance bracelets the bracelets uh, yeah the bracelets are unisex yeah mm. so a man can wear a woman can also wear so this design I have here like what I'm, you are seeing I can use it as a belt very okay. long so so on that special location I want to look different mm -hmm. so I can use this bead as a belt mm -hmm. yeah this I like the gold color because it matches a lot of stuff okay. if even I'm in white I can wear it any color that I'm wearing it will be nice on it sure. yeah so this this bead we have it in a variety of colors okay. yeah so what types of beads do you have I mean, okay what, what so we have beads that designers can come and purchase so it's not only jewelry so for instance if you are a designer and you want raw materials you can work with when you come to us we we'll give you we we'll provide you all these beads so this yeah. are, they, are they glass or stone yeah or actually uh, marbles yes. or for these beads you are seeing here are made from glass glass Krobo people have been producing glass beads since time immemorial okay yeah and the wonderful thing is that this is from recycled glass so all the wine bottles the luva blaze of cats the beer bottles yeah uh -huh. that that is what you see here in this yeah. beautiful design sure so the waste has been put to good use of course so i will encourage you buy krobo beads you are helping the environment you are helping the people in the villages sure we are talking about unemployment but if you come to the beast market here and then you can see that even the private sector too there is hope a lot of people here are employed here right from retailers people who sell beads people who are see, there, there are a lot of people here who are breadwinners mm -hmm. men are doing jewelry men are doing waste beads women are doing waste beads so this whole beads market is creating jobs for a lot of people now we have students who during holidays make a living from jewelry sure they make key holders key rings and they sell they are making bracelets so we will want to encourage Ghanaian people. Let's patronize what we have here. Let's use bracelets as souvenirs for your weddings. Why don't you use a craft instead do you, of? Do, do you export in yes. case somebody buys or orders from you know overseas, America, yes. Europe, somewhere? Yes, we we do exports. Mm -hmm. Currently, we have a market base in the Denmark. Denmark. Yeah, okay. where we do jewelry for them. And one thing about us is we study the market. So, as you can see, you, we have bright colors. That's Ghanaians for you. We like bright colors. Sure. But the European want something plain. So we will just do one color for them. Mm. So, if we can come closer here, I'll show you a variety of beads. Yeah. So, so these designs are also. This is what the European will like. There are a few of them too who like things that look Ghanaian. So whatever be your choice, we are here to meet your demand. We do custom made jewelry. There are people who don't want their jewelry to be worn by everybody. Mm -hmm. They want unique beads. And we are ready to help you out. Get that unique beat you've always wanted. How do they how do we contact you? So you can find us at the Beast Market, Koforidia Beast Market, stall number B1. Our office is also located near in Krakang. If you are from Koforidia, heading towards Boti Falls, we are just by the roadside. It's about 15 minutes drive from Koforidia. We are not far. And you can contact us, uh, my phone number, 0244 
0242-5242-125842. We are on Facebook. If in case you can't come here, we do delivery. Where any part of the world will send the items to you. Sure. All you need to do is to place your order. We are on social media. So just give us your contact. We also do training lots of women. And so if you have women, organized women, and you want us to do training for them, we are willing to do that. We don't want the poverty cycle to continue. And if a woman is earning something, she can help her family. So our goal is to help women earn a living for themselves. And we encourage you to come to Koforidia Beats Market. I mean, the whole Ghana, you won't find any markets like this. Anything concerning bees, just walk right here. You can spend a whole day here. We have food, everything. Come with your family on holidays. Main market day is Thursday, but any day when you come here, you are sure to get some jewelry. So we encourage you, let's, let's patronize Ghanaian made locally beads. Let's patronize our own. Thank you. Great. Thank you so much for coming on the Retainees yeah. Sankofa channel. Right. Um, we hope to visit every time, every time, Thursdays, thank you. buy jewelries, and then, you know, thank you so much. Very well, um, so this, this, this is one shop also, and then all these women you see, they are working. I mean, they are workers right here who assemble some of these beads or who thread um, some of these beads. And then you can see beautiful jewelries right here in this shop. Very beautiful jewelries right inside Koforidia, uh, the beads market. One of the biggest, of course, in the whole Ghana, not just Accra, but the whole Ghana. You should visit um, Koforidia anytime, every time when you are in Ghana, especially returning, and you will find the best beautiful jewelries right here beads um name it i mean name it for your waist your wrist your neck any part any part of your body of course it's your man coffee like always well over here is is, is also another beautiful bead shop you can see right here with different colors different varieties um glass beads stones marbles Ah, name them. Beautiful ones right here. All inside um Koforidia. Well over here are also some traditional stuff for kings, queens, um, yes, so beautiful, um, colorful stuff right here. You can find just inside Koforidia, um, the beads market. It's actually, uh, I think it's a bead and craft market. Yeah, some traditional beads, I think, very traditional, very, um, old beads you can see right here yeah. very well so all, what, what she said or trying to explain is that she is treading the bead for the queen mother yes so the queen mother um on the funeral so the, the black and red uh you know represent our colors for funeral so actually it's for the queen mother to wear to a funeral yes only funeral that's for um specifically for a queen mother um to wear on the funeral right so here here also if 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 you are looking to buy anything for kings queens the king mother queen mother right here in this shop in the um beats market koforidia you can find them right here you see them very beautiful colorful some 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 um the king chairs or king stools right here so this man is the owner of the shop She's going to put or leave her contact in case you need anything about king, queens, beads right here in Koforidia. You can contact him directly. Yes, sir. 
zero five four zero four two one zero zero seven. Okay, number two, Idini. Kwabra from Pong. Kwabra from Pong. Uh, shop in Zudin. A shop near yeah. Mr. Mr. from Pong. This is an African word. Great. So, right in um, Koforidia Beach Market, just look for Mr. and Mrs. from Pong, African West. And then you find them right here inside the Beats Market. For all your king, queen, words, yeah, you also can dress like a king or a queen. Good afternoon. Very well, over here is a, is a woman, I mean, threading some beads. I just want to find out what exactly she's doing and then what type or what, what, what is it for actual mommy. So now, uh, oh, yeah, dear. When you meet here, yeah, or him, you're sitting him, man, or quay, you ain't to so be quay, yeah, as I say, you be say, come on, now they are too no come and no, no, they be fra, nay, in tama. Now, what's your child? Child, you're bay and in Sadie, and no, I mean, she shall have him. Come on, come on, come on, come on. It's a way me, we are here. We do so, I may. Now, where are you going to be? Where is sugar bead? Sugar bead. I bought a glass. A glass. And you're there. But you didn't have sugar bead. Very well. So, what, what she said or trying to explain is that she is treading the bead for the queen mother. Yes, so the queen mother. Um, on the funeral, so the, the black and red, uh, you know, represent our colors for funeral. So actually, it's for the queen mother to wear to a funeral. Yes, only funeral. That's for um, specifically for a queen mother um, to wear on the funeral. Right. Very well, so over here in this particular shop, you find these old beats, very olden days, olden, olden, olden days beats. Exactly, I mean, uh, 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s, you find them right here. It's very beautiful beats, very old, natural beads, right here in this particular shop all inside Koforidia Beats Market. See them very colorful. Yeah. So right here in Koforidia is the place where you find old stuff. I mean old stuff of beads. Very, very, very old. So all these uh, beads are being picked one by one and then tread to become a full complete beat. You can see them right here on the floor, all these beads on the grounds. Very, 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 very old beads. Very, 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 very So here are real typical Krobo beads. These are very colorful, beautiful um, Krobo beads. Right here. Very beautiful. You can see through um, the shop right there. And then right out, out here are all beads. Very beautiful, very colorful. 
very typical Krobo. These are the real Krobo beads. So if, if, if you're looking for Krobo beads right here inside um, Koforidia, the beads market. So right inside here are some of the beads you can see up right here. Uh, the different varieties, different colors, beautiful. Here also you can find some brass, brass ornaments, brass ornaments, right here, some very old coins, you can find everything right inside Beats Market. Very well written is so I have a man here who is a graduate. I mean graduate. He left all the white collar jobs just to sell beads right here in the beads market go for it here. In the meantime you can see I can't be in the beads market without wearing them. So I have my beads here, very huge ones, very heavy, and then of course quality. Let's find out from this man why he left all these white color jobs just to sell beads here and then we'll look at some of the beads in his shop. Come with me. Good day, sir. You're right on the written is um, Sankofa channel. Tell mm. us, you're a graduate, of course, I know. Why selling beads? Why leaving all these white collar jobs, the air conditions, the um, 4x4 cars, you know, but decide to sell beads right here in the beads market? Thank you very much for the question. First, I will say, I do not think you educate yourself only for the purpose of securing a job opportunity. I think you get yourself educated because you, you lack something. That is, you are ignorant of something. So when you educate yourself, it means you might have done away with the ignorant. So doing away with ignorance is what motivated me to go into school not necessarily to secure a job opportunity by the way the jobs are even not available we in ghana are saying we have um graduate unemployment association or something which for me is a funny thing because if you've been educated to the level of being to the university i do not see why you cannot a query to anyone <laughs> i don't answer a query i don't i'm not under obligation to necessarily go to work without giving explanation when it is convenient for me yeah. i go when i don't feel so well i sleep and relax and take up care of myself when i'm back to normal i start work again i'm comfortable with that that's why i chose to be here very well so how is the beads business I think it's a good source of 
um, sustenance. I have been doing this for all my life and I wow. took care of my children. For how many years now? I not less than 25 to 30 wow. years. Yes, I've been doing this wow. for all my life, about wow. 25 years ago wow. or more. Wow. I have been doing this business. Wow. I was even doing the business when I decided to go to school mm -hmm. and I did my O level at home mm -hmm. and I did my A level at home, went to the university and even went to do my master's. Wow. Except that I'm still struggling to finish my <laughs> uh, the, the thesis. I'm still struggling to finish. Yeah. When you are out of school, you hardly find enough time, time to, to sit read and to read and exactly. write. So and that has been my problem. Family issues. Uh, the community exactly. itself. So that is it. So since you've been in this big business for over 25 years, tell us, tell us a little about beads. I mean, the type, kinds of beads, which, what, what beads are expected on, on the market, the good ones, the quality ones, especially for our brothers in the diaspora, the African-Americans. You know, most of um, us are lovers of beads. Of course, um, it's part of African culture. Yeah. It's part of uh, beautification. Yeah. Women don't go without beads. I mean, real Ghanaian women wear beads all the time, you know, before our mothers were even born. Yeah. Let's talk a bit about beads. And that is very true. Mm. Beads, primarily, um, we can say, is for adornment. You know, you beautify yourself and then it speaks just as rightly said by um, I am Professor A.C. Sutherland and Ama Atta Edu when they named a book they wrote, Ghana, where the bead speaks. Yes, it speaks because when you look at any bead, any bead that you know, if you are somebody who is, who has insight about beads, you the bead what it is saying to people who wear, where, when you wear the bead, what it is saying to people who observe you and yourself, what is the bead itself is saying. These are all the way that beads can speak. And for example, when a woman wears three pieces of beads on her waist, they say it's Odon Sada. The mere fact that they wore three they say Odon Sada, Odon Sada. Uh, to mean an unending love, love or something exactly. like that <laughs> in, in, in English when you wear three pieces of beads mm -hmm. when you wear four or five it all has its Meaning. what it symbolizes the wearing of some numbers of beads mm -hmm. so you can see that in a Khan tradition they hardly like to wear six yes. or four or eight they wear rather the odds the three, the five, the seven, nine, you understand me? In that order. And all has a meaning. Wow. And that is one, um, one perspective. And when you look at the bead itself as, as a product, you can see that some beads are made of stones. Okay. Some are, they are carved out of stone, made of glass, and some are also made of powdered glass. It's chemical that they used to mix with the glass to produce something different. For example, the bead you have around your neck now is called bodom. It's called bodom beads. And bodom beads or a bodom, as others may say, it has different way of, uh, the different people have different way of pron make, pronouncing the name. Some will say bodom, some will say a bodom. And this bead Bodom that I'm talking about is Bodom, you know, in a can literally means, means dog. a dog, yes, yes some say. Dog. So I don't know why they name it so. And this is the name of this beast world over. Wow. They call it Bodom or a Bodom. World over. It has no any other name than the apart from the Bodom. The Bodom. That is all we know who have been in the business and before as those who were doing referred to it as bottom or bottom. We have the very old, old ones, which are very expensive. One can go for a little over $100 or two, a piece of it. 
a piece okay. are not those original ones. Okay. These ones are made from broken old beads. Okay. We have old beads that are broken and they cannot use any they cannot be put to use any longer. So they crush them, melt them and design bottom with them. It could be any bead, it could be millifiori, trevi from Italy, Holland, any bead mm -hmm. in the old days and it could be any bead that is here that they can break and they color them and they use them to make the new bottom. Okay. So it is a replacement of the ones we keep losing. This makes me have some hope that we are still going to get some of what have been taken away by the foreigners who come and buy the old one from us mm -hmm. and go and then reprice them at premium prices abroad and sell when they take them cheap here. Wow. So, so these are a replacement of some of them. They aren't so expensive like the other one. The highest it could go maybe some 30, 40 Ghana cities. Some of them maybe so. Anyway, so do you make some, some of these beads yourself or you, you buy them to sell? Okay. Okay. My name is Mikey Ibrahim Mohammed mm -hmm. Osman. Is that and my shop, shop name? number? No, that is my name, get and the, our company is Get Clothes. Get Clothes. Yes, Get Clothes. Okay. And then uh, our number is 0243 174486 and 0244. 950570 sure. and then we also have the shop number G B40 and B39 okay. and we also occupy B38 okay. mm. are you are you on social media in, in your platform yes that yes. people can easily search yes, and find yes, yes. And, and, and then order for yes. and they can do that they sure. can do that we have I I my kid 67 I make this 67 at gmail.com. Okay. It's my email address and um, social media. My name is Mike D. Ibrahim. Okay. Mm. Facebook. Facebook, yes. Yeah, okay. Mike okay. D. Ibrahim. Thank you. Thank you, it's sir. It's my for pleasure. Coming wonderful, on the, on wonderful, the wonderful, wonderful time with you. Exactly. Thank you so exactly. much. It's been great. Thank you. Great. Thank you so much. Right. I hope we do this some other time again. I, thank you. Hi, Rate Nish. It's your man, Kofi, like always. Thank you for watching this video give a thumbs up subscribe share and also don't forget to hit that bell and also please 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 we need your support to get to 4,000 we are 3,000 and plus right now we need your subscription share to friends family so we can get to 4,000 Ray Tanis Sankofa home sweet home fear